Hey guys, it's me Shanika and I literally just woke up not too long ago. Today's April 1st. As you can see that little heart on the screen that says April 1st. And this entire month I'm going to try to water fast. Um, I'm doing it for health benefits and also for spirituality. Um, and so I think what I'm going to do is do like a little small um, video diary every single day of the month and then put an entire video together at the end of the month so you guys can kind of see my results and not just physical results but like my spiritual results as well and um, some things that I'm doing that will go hand in hand and align a line up with spirituality is I'm gonna pray for my husband for every single day and I have this handout right here I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm also going to pray for myself as well. So like, for example, today's prayer says, um, it's a, each day it, there's a theme. So yesterday's theme was salvation. Today's theme is God's grace. Tomorrow's theme is love. The next day's theme is integrity, self-control, um, just different things like that. And it'll have like a little small prayer and a scripture to back up that prayer. So I'm going to do that for 31 days it's right here on this page and then as i mentioned before um this is a couple of pages of praying for your husband for 31 days as well and that also gives like a little small prayer and um, some scriptures to back that up um i'm thinking that i don't know if i should I probably should not pray on camera. I should probably keep that very intimate between me and God. Now, I've already weighed myself. Um, I don't know if I should weigh myself every day, though. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. My therapist told me I should really focus on my inches because I'm renewing my bowels in August in the Bahamas. And I've already ordered the dress. And the dress is like three sizes smaller than what I am. And so the size guide tells you the inches that you must be for like waist, bust, things like that. And because I am equipped with that information, I went ahead and measured myself. And now I know exactly what I have to work towards. So she said, just focus on inches. So I guess I will be focusing on inches. I've never done it that way before, but this way might be a little bit more successful than just focusing on weight. Because it is true that you could be the same weight and be losing inches. Your body still could be ch changing and transforming, things like that. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Also, during this 30 days, I'm going to make sure that I do a face regimen every day, moisturize. I'm going to do some sort of hair regimen every day. If you guys didn't know, we're in quarantine. So, we can't really go anywhere or do anything. Everything is closed and shut down so if i'm going to be in the house for the next 30 days i'm going to make it count i'm also going to work out every day i know you guys are like girl you being real ambitious you're going to pray every day you're going to be on a water fast you're going to work out every day like what else are you going to do <laughs> you know what and i'm also going to do this video diary every single day as well and maybe you guys will even be able to do like i'll be able to do some like some sort of time lapse situation where i'll put all the videos like sped up one after another so you can see the changes in my face um i think i am going to show you my body just so I, i'm going to do a before body shot and an after i'm not going to do every single day and the progress and all of that i'm going to do one picture today and then I'm going to do one picture on the final day. And then I'll put that somewhere in this video. But yeah, guys, other than that, um, I just wanted to update you and let you know what my intentions were. Let you know what I planned on doing. And um, go ahead and welcome you guys along with me on the journey. Mwah. Here is the dress that I need to get in by August. I have it hanging up since we are doing the bow renewal on the beach. I got something like this. It's kind of sheer. So, yeah. I have to get into that soon. Look at mommy on the treadmill.
Hey guys, today is Thursday, April 2nd, and it is day two of my water fast. I just wanted to come on here really quickly and give you an update. I said that I would try to do like a um, video diary every day, nothing too long or drawn out. Um, but yesterday went successfully. Um, there were no hiccups or anything like that. I did not consume anything other than water, no food, no tea, no coffee, no juice, no nothing, just water. So I'm really pumped and excited because yesterday went according to plan. And um, I also worked out on the treadmill for 30 minutes, so that was exciting. And I also decided that I was going to dedicate this time to focusing on my skin and my hair as well. So I will be focusing on those for the next 30 days as well. And of course, I'll be praying a lot, worshiping, reading my Bible, and working on my entrepreneurial business. Okay, today is Friday, April 3rd. I'm doing a quick video diary. I'm not going to be on long. I don't have much to say. Um, yesterday was very rough. Um, towards the end of the day, I started getting a headache slash migraine. And, um, yeah, but I didn't cave in. I didn't give in. I still have not had anything other than water for three whole days. Today, I'm feeling a little, like, lethargic, like, weak. And so, I'm just going to kind of, like, rest a little bit and chill out. I'm not going to do as much as I've been doing these last couple of days. But that's pretty much it for the update, guys. Bye. Hi guys, today is day six on my 30 day water fast and I think I may have skipped a couple of days doing a video diary, but I am here all is well. I'm still on my journey. Um, today and yesterday I woke up with a slight sore throat and I think that those are detox symptoms. Um, no, I do not think I have the coronavirus. <laughs> um, yeah, and also today, maybe TMI, but I took my first bowel movement since I started my water fast. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on here. And that's my update. This week, my husband is home with me. Um, he was laid off with pay because of the coronavirus. I'm really excited about that. I still have been working out on and off. Um, just whenever I feel like it, whenever I feel up to it, whenever I feel like I have the energy to do so, then I will work out. I started out doing it every day and then I just kind of gradually, um, transitioned to, you know, listening to my body. So I did work out yesterday though. And today's just starting. So I don't know if I will work out today or if I won't. Um, but we'll see. All right. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's day eight. And I'm still hanging in there. I'm still on my water fasting journey. I'm still shooting for 30 days. Nothing has changed. I will say that I have been pooping a lot lately. And this might be TMI, but... It's the type of poop that like burns my butthole. Like my butthole be on fire as if I just ate some jalapenos or some hot sauce or something like that. I think those are the toxins being released. And then most people would be like, how are you pooping if you're on a water fast? Because you have plenty of built up um, inside of your intestines and inside of you in general from like previous food and things like that. But, um, and also, like I said, it's the toxins being released. And another thing that I noticed is that my skin has been peeling like crazy as if I've gone and laid on somebody's beach and I have some sort of sunburn. So, yeah, the skin thing is pretty weird. And hopefully after it's finished peeling, that'll be like the bad layer of skin. And I'll have like clear, even tone, clear complexion, blemish-free 
acne free skin once it's all is all said and done another thing is that i got kicked out of a water fasting group today because i said that i did not consume electrolytes and i fasted several times before and i never did um so in another water fasting group after i got kicked out of the first one i asked the people about electrolytes like how essential is it a requirement is it optional and they told me just to add pink himalayan salt to my water so i started doing that and i felt an immediate difference i was like oh my god why didn't i know this before but i'm learning i'm still learning and i love that i'm perfecting this for future reference <laughs> Today is day nine, and I'm a little bit winded because I just came up the steps. I have three floors in my house, so I just climbed three flights of steps, but I just wanted to come on really quickly and tell you what happened to me yesterday. Yesterday, I got kicked out of not one, but two water fasting groups. Okay, so the first water fasting group, um, someone asked me, how do I get my electrolytes in? And I was like, I don't. And then they were like... It is extremely dangerous for you not to be consuming electrolytes. It's not optional and it's a requirement if you're going to be a part of this group. And then, bam, they just kicked me out. Like, they, <laughs> they're like a no-nonsense type of group or something, I guess. And they have, they don't leave room for grace. And I guess there's no room for error. And as long as I've done water fast, I've never taken electrolytes. So, um... So, yeah, they kicked me out because I said I didn't consume electrolytes. And then in another water fasting group, um, someone asked if they could consume black coffee while water fasting. And they also asked, um, do, I put pink, do I put salt in my water? And I said, yes, I'm going to start putting pink Himalayan salt in my water to replenish my electrolytes because I had just gotten that information from the previous group and apparently it was you know super important to the point where because I wasn't doing it I got kicked out so when I told this new group that I was going to start doing that they kicked me out because they said water fasting should only consist of water only so these groups they don't even know what they're talking about it's so much conflicting information out here that's why I encourage people to don't even take my word for it do your own research yourself and this is such an unflattering position. Why would I have the camera down? If you want to look like thin and just better, you're supposed to hold it up kind of like this. See? See how much better that looks? But I'm holding mine down. And I'm showing you all my chin hairs and my dark spots. But hopefully, like I said, I probably mentioned it in a previous video diary. Once this is over... Like, I expect there to be no hair growth, no dark spots, no blemishes, no acne, no nothing. And I'm really excited. I'm crossing my fingers and crossing my toes. And I'm hoping, I'm praying to the skin gods that my skin is as clear as it's ever been before. Um, so, right now, I'm in transition and toxins are coming out through my skin. So, it's actually looking worse than usual. It's day 14. Still hanging in there. I don't know how many days I got left. I think 16 until the end of April. But today, I wouldn't say that it's been hard, but today I actually started feeling a little hungry. And I've been watching a lot of food videos, but vegan food videos, though, because after this, I plan on becoming 100% vegan. But I've been watching, like, vegan mukbangs and, like, vegan recipe videos and, like, vegans cooking vegan dishes and things like that. So, yeah, I'm getting a little hungry. So, that's pretty much it. Bye, guys. I also wanted to mention really quickly, I already said bye for a... Uh, day 14 but I wanted to mention that I have a very gross taste in my mouth and I've been brushing my teeth like crazy brushing my tongue 
I've been using mouthwash and it still keeps coming back. And then also, I know I said in one of my earlier video diaries that I had like started having bowel movements. Well, yeah, now it's like... I just want to take a moment and stop right here and say that this beard is outrageous. We are in quarantine and I usually go to European Wax Center and my chin hairs are growing like a freaking forest. Stop! Oh my gosh. I just ordered wax online. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. I'm going to wax that and I hope and pray after this fast that my hair growth stops completely. This is ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know if I should describe them, but I know a lot of them are mustardy yellow, like a mustardy yellow color. And they're like very mucusy and like they're not solid, but it's not like diarrhea, I don't think. I don't know. I'm just trying to document my journey and be as specific and give as many details as possible so that if you go through the same thing, you'll know that it's like normal or whatever when fasting. <laughs> Hi guys, today is day 15 and I wanted to come on here and tell you that my cycle came on and it was a beast. I'm not talking about the cycle itself, I'm talking about the symptoms like the back pain was excruciating. I felt like I was in having like back pain labor. Um, you women know what I'm talking about if you've ever been in labor before or you've been so anyway um it normally does not hurt this much I think the water fast is playing a part in like magnifying the symptoms and did I say the water or the water fast I don't know but anyway so I um, accidentally took a BC the other night when my back was hurting so bad. I thought it was like my kidneys trying to filter out toxins or something because it was a very extreme pain. So I got up and I took a BC and I was like, oh my God, I've been fasting for how many of our days it was. And I had a panic attack because I didn't know what the reaction of the BC would be to me water fasting. And so I was like hyperventilating. I felt like um, I couldn't breathe. Like my throat was closing up. Um, I was like pacing back and forth. It was pretty bad, but nothing happened. I made myself stay up like a, a very late because I was scared if I went to sleep, I wouldn't wake up. Ah! So yeah, all of that happened. But other than that, yeah, my cycle was just a beast right now. When I was on my dry fast, my cycle didn't even hurt. <laughs> Hey guys, today is day 17 of my 30 day water fast and I came on here today to tell you that yesterday was the absolute worst. I mean, I think that's probably the worst I felt this entire time on day 16. And I really honestly think it has something to do with my cycle being on. I think my cycle in combination with water fasting is just not a good combination but um i really honestly thought about throwing in the towel yesterday but i didn't and i'm glad that i did because i feel so much better today i have bags under my eyes because i didn't get any sleep last night so I just want to sing a little selection. I can't sing, and a lot of you may not be familiar with this song because it is in the gospel genre, and you know, that's not like a super popular genre of music, but here we go. So glad I made it. So glad I made it. I made it through, I made it through, oh, so 
glad I made it. So glad I made it. I made it through. I made it through. Today is day 18, and um, I don't know how much longer I can go. I have 12 more days, and I keep telling myself, if you've made it this far, you might as well just finish. But this taste in my mouth is so disgusting. It's so unbearable. It's so unbearable. It tastes like metallic. And it just makes spit fill up in my mouth and it just tastes really gross but I'm lucky that I don't have other physical symptoms like no migraine or nausea I'm not like bent over with sweat cold chills or anything like that um, so I don't know I mean Today, guys, is day 21. I was supposed to go until day 30, but I can't do it anymore. I'm trying to listen to my body. I'm trying to be in tune with my body. And I think it's telling me to go ahead and stop and quit. Now, they do say it takes 21 days to break any type of bad habit. I'm trying to break my food addiction and my unhealthy relationship with food. So today's day 21. So I think I probably accomplished that. I'm out of breath because I just came up three flights of steps. But I'm going to break it with harmless harvest coconut water from Whole Foods. And I guess you guys can take the first sip with me. I don't mind. Um, I have developed this thing where like spit forms in my mouth. It fills up and I keep having to spit and my stomach's starting to hurt a little bit. So, yeah, there are a couple of different ailments that were starting to happen and take place. That were just kind of an indication that I should stop. So, I'm going to go ahead and have my first sip. Oh, my God. I do not want to cry. I did a six-day dry fast where I had no water and no food for six whole days. And when I took my first sip, I burst into tears i'll like link that video somewhere i cried like a baby honey i don't even know why i still to this day i have no explanation for it but i kind of feel like i want to cry now i actually just said a prayer before taking my first sip i said grace and i said a prayer to close out my fast so yeah so good so good Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to put this video diary together and make like a little YouTube video or whatever. And I just want to thank you guys for rocking with me and going with me on this journey. And yeah. I'll see you guys in my next fast because you know this ain't going to be the last. Bye guys.